Hi, my name is Cynthia Montaño, and I'm going to present here my poster, Sashinit uh, Nuni, Recordemos el Dadabi, a workshop to create a community based language documentation project of Southern Puebla, Mixtec. Uh, first, um, I'm going to show you here where is uh, the place I was working. Uh, so um, I was working here in Tonahuisla, uh, Santo Domingo Tonahuisla which is a locality of San Jerónimo Sayacatlán. Um, I'm from this part, Totoltepec de Guerrero, Puebla. So it is uh, very close to Tonahuisla. And uh, this all, uh, these all three um, communities here uh, belongs to the Northern Baja Mixtec, this uh, dialectal area here, according to Ziostran. Uh, so yeah, I was working in the in those play, uh, in that place, Santo, Santo Domingo Tona Whistler. Mm, okay, so my poster talks about how to uh, start, uh, how to to build um, community uh, with uh, for for creating a documentation project. Um, First, uh, I I was working there in in Puebla, southern Puebla, Mexico, uh, during the first week of June, twenty twenty two, and I offer a um, workshop uh, that lasted about around ten hours, and we have different attendees each day. Um, well, the main goal of the workshop was to gather uh, elder people. Uh, gather together elder people and young people and reflect on terms such as language versus dialect, language diversity in Mexico, the Mixtec varieties, uh, the vital vitality of Mixtec, uh, the social causes of danger and language endangerment, and the Mixtec identity. So uh, also uh, at the end we discussed a little bit about what would be important uh, to us to document and how this data can be used to create teaching materials. Um, I think this, um, uh, this all, we, I start uh, doing, uh, I start the workshop with these topics because um, it's kind of, um, of, of, of aware people about all these different uh, linguistic terms and understand, uh, for example, the the difference between language and dialect, because in Mexico we there is uh, there's still this stigma that uh, the people call dialect uh, to their own uh, indigenous language in this case, Mixtec. So um, that's why I think it will be first very important to address these um, these ideas uh, to. To start um, the discussion about uh, how to document a language, not not like another dialect. Um, so our results. Uh, well, as I was saying, we we, we have different people uh, attending this this workshop, and here, for example, we have like um, people maybe for over. Yeah, over 40 years old here. Uh, she's over, I think she she is uh, 70 years old. And here we have uh, children. So uh, like we have like a wide range of, of peoples and ages. So um, this is what this was was this was one of the difficulties. And well, uh, in the uh, with the kids, the results were with kids was to reflect about their identity as Mixtec and their relationship with the language science. They don't speak Mixtec. In these communities in Southern Puebla, um, only people over 60 years old speak the language. So people from here in this picture, um, they don't speak the language. For example, for example, this lady over here and all other people here, they don't speak the language. Um, and she was, our consultant, and she was the main uh, the person in charge of the public uh, public library. And uh, 
but we also discuss about the the kind of things that we like to preserve. So we end up with personal uh, the one personal story about migration since migration is a big topic in the region. People from these towns migrate to Mexico City or to uh, New York here at the USA. And also we have two um, two videos of how to waving palm hats. So yeah, uh, uh, we have like three uh, recordings for this for this only this uh, workshop science, since it focus on discuss these terms to start the uh, the awareness of of the these linguistic terms. Uh, well, there were there were a lot of challenge here challenges um first uh, it was hard to explain what's the goal of the workshop itself because they believe uh, it was for learning mistake so when people uh, for, when people first show up of this uh, workshop they say like oh okay we, we are going to learn mistake and i was trying to understand that we are going to do I, I was trying to explain that that i was uh, my intention was to um, to discuss different terms, uh, to know more about um, language diversity in Mexico, but they were like very focused on on these uh, like language classes because in the past there has been uh, also a, a class, um, a Mishta class here in the library. And then also since attendees were not the same at every meeting, it was hard to to keep the the discussion going, so so we don't really um, like connect with everyone at the same level because there were people that showed much uh, many times, uh, other people that only show show one one time, so it was hard to to keep the connection and. Well, also, science, we have like different ages here. Kids were interested, but they got easily distracted. Uh, for example, when we're talking about um, like uh, language versus dialect term, it was like mm -hmm, not, not so very much engaged for, for them. But when we talk about the, the mistake the identity, then they become more, more interested. But so it was hard to to work with them and also with people older than, than them. Like we don't really have young people, but we are, we have kids and, and people maybe over 40, uh, 40 years old. And um, also, and um, I think an important point is that myself uh, as a non-native speaker of Mishchek, so, so they were like, why are you interested in that language? Um, and you are not a native speaker, so you can't teach us uh, the language, right? So I I present myself as um as a neighbor from the from the other town, totally uh, de Guerrero. But the, in that town, we like they don't speak the language anymore. And they, my for example, uh, my grandmother, she only understands the language uh, mistake so i have to explain like like all this um uh, all this idea what's uh, like like we can do something here to start recording um stories and and everything to try to to have a, a register of the of the language however uh, i was it, it was inter it was interesting to see that Maybe I I will not be like the the correct person to to teach to teach to teach the language because at the beginning they thought that it's going to be a class and also my position as a researcher from the U U.S. University uh, since they I even though that I was like presenting myself as a neighbor and they were like well you are like a, another person who comes here where, and you. And uh, you you talk also English, so then the relationship was kind of no, uh, no equal, right? So that was hard for me to to navigate those tensions about my about about myself. 
in front of the of the people. And because yeah, uh, the prestige of the English over Spanish and mystic. So I I receive received many comments about why you are interested in in mystic and 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 instead you should um teach us English, or yeah, because since I know English, they were like yeah, you should just teach us English instead of mystic. So yeah, yeah uh, it was hard to also explain this um this difference uh like this different uh, prestiges between languages and uh, another challenge was the cha the change in local political parties since the the um, the president of the municipality uh, changed this year. Uh, it was hard to start the the conversations uh, since uh, he he was new at the at the church and it was um it wasn't easy to for example uh, keep um keep the the worship as long as I wanted because um they did they didn't know how to uh yeah how to how the library would work or what would be the activities in the library. Um, I think one of the most uh, challenges uh, will be how to keep the conversation when you, um, I mean, in, in this case, I spent most of the time away from, from the community. Yeah, I was doing this over the summer uh, this year, and then I, I will go back next summer. So all these months between, uh, I don't know how to, to keep the the contact, uh, like a meaningful contact to start uh, to, yeah, to keep the conversation going about the, the worship and everything. So, um, well, some of the conclusions that I have from this experience is like, um, building community takes time, uh, absolutely. And there are different stages in building community. And this, uh, this experience here, uh, that was the first approach to the community with the intention to evaluate like future works, like see if people will be interested. Well, people show interest to continue, but at the end, I don't know how it's going to be for next summer. And also the workshop helped to identify potential long-term collaborators uh, since I met all different people and there were different level of engagement. So it was uh, important to see like the um, uh, the the potential collaborators, and um, well, next summer I need to present material about the stories that we recorded in order to demonstrate my compromise be with with the community. Like uh, I, even though that we only record like three um three uh, personal stories and and two more um, procedure, procedures here. Well, here we were starting the recording with this uh, Tia. And even though that they are, they were only three, I think that would be like an important um, way to show uh, the engagement and show them my compromise with people there. And oh, and this one uh, at the end, it's uh, uh, another uh, a work with um, bilingual teachers, which they're not in this in this um, in this workshop, but we were talking about um, also language diversity in Mexico. But they were interested in working with um, uh, how to create um, material for teach. Uh, mystic. So um, I think that um, in, in the long term, uh, I, I can work with them for for trying to to create this material that will be important for their own classes uh, at the school. Uh, but yeah, that will, that that's was my experience here, and I think there is a lot of of think about the challenges that are, that now I how I how can I. Mm, uh, face that challenge, especially the way that keep keep contact with the community. Yeah, so yeah, that will be all for this um for uh, for this poster. And thank you so much. 